Hey guys, Puggos Pizzeria here, back with another video, and in today's video, we will be talking about the FNAF Security Breach gameplay, but just before the video starts, of course, you know, subscribe and all that stuff, yeah, but, uh, I, I do, I do just need to rant a little, I do just need to get this off my chest, so, uh, here's a time you can skip to if you don't want to listen to me talk about any of this stuff, but, uh, I, I just feel like I need to talk about this. So, yesterday's video about the FNAF AR merch, that video did absolutely awful. It got way less views than it should have, even though I put hours of work into it. Literally, well, the entire day yesterday, since I am going on vacation, by the time you're watching this video, I'm currently on vacation, I'm still providing content for you. I could easily take a four-day break or something, but no, I still want to make daily videos for you guys. But yet, the FNAF AR, like, merch video, that video took, like, a lot longer than my other videos to make. I, I really like that video. I think it turned out well. And I was also really stressing about it, because I had to make three other videos that day and do all my homework i got i like could i was super stressed super hungry i wanted to sleep but i didn't because i still made all these videos for you and yet that video even though i put hours of effort into it got barely any views but yet i see you guys commenting on for example for example i bet there's still gonna be people on the bottom of this video saying that this video it is clickbait and they don't like it and I should and I should do other content with more effort but ye, you see yesterday's video had tons of effort into it and still nobody watched it so seriously if you guys want higher quality videos then why don't you actually watch the ones that are higher quality you watching the videos that have sort of just normal amount of effort in them I continue to make normal videos if I try and make high quality videos and you guys don't watch it then I'm not going to continue making those videos but that's just something sort of quick I just had to talk about. So let's get into this actual video. So for today's video, we will be talking about the FNAF Security Breach gameplay. Now in the trailer, I could tell that the game, it really is not finished yet. I think they definitely have the idea and I would say it's like kind of close to done, but I really don't think the game will sadly come out until 2021 because uh, I, with the whole Corona and everything, uh, I don't think it'll come out. And especially since the trailer had no gameplay at all. <clears throat> for as cool as the trailer was it really didn't show off too much it was just a camera slowly moving back in a few settings and a vanny jump scare that's really all we got we didn't get we got a few voices that were clearly for the trailer which is cool but that's about it everything else wasn't really for this trailer while the trailer was still cool and yes it definitely was a very cool trailer i really do like it it sadly didn't provide us with too much evidence, especially no gameplay. And of course, since there's no gameplay, that means there's not enough gameplay or enough cool gameplay or enough fixed gameplay with no bugs for them to include into the ad. So in this video, basically, I will be talking about what I think the gameplay for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach is going to be. So based off the trailer and off of everything else we have gone so far about this game, I think I can predict... 85% of the game so far. Now, of course, there's going to be things I don't know about. There's going to be things nobody knows about. So we will really have to see how the game turns out. Of course, there's going to be things nobody knows about because, for example, Moon Man. Now, the Moon Man, no one knew he existed. No one knew who he was. And honestly, no one even really has a any idea of what he can do yet. He's just sort of there and he crawls across the top. So, uh, of course, in this video, I will be trying my hardest to uh, just predict everything that's going to happen so uh first of all you know the main thing uh some people are saying it's going to be set up like five nights at freddy's um like five nights at freddy's vr you know where you're in sort of the home world with the hub screen and you know you have all the buttons to choose different nights and things like that and some people say it's just going to be like a classic five nights at freddy's night where you press start and you're immediately just popped into your office or some people think it's going to be entirely different you know maybe it's something crazy like there's only one night and it starts with whole with a whole bunch of different other things and just how cool that would be but i think it's a mix of both i think it's a it's going to be a mix of FNAF VR and normal Five Nights at Freddy's. So I think when you start, there is going to be sort of the hub menu, but it's not going to be in a whole world. It's just sort of going to be a menu screen, sort of like a upgraded version of the Five Nights at Freddy's menu screens, like the menu, like the first menu screen from the original Five Nights at Freddy's. I think it'll be sort of like a upgraded 
better version of that. So, basically, you know, with the whole hub screen, you have a whole bunch of different knights and then the extras and things. I do think they will add actual extras, maybe extra mini games, extra something else. Who knows, they might even ha add a whole multiplayer thing or just something like that. That would be very cool to see. But I do think there still will be five knights, well, you know, probably like seven knights, like the other things, but like five nights like the normal other five nights at freddy's games because of course it's called five nights at freddy's we know this game will be really high quality because it is being made by steel Wolf, and it was announced at the whole you know playstation trailer got way more views than the other games did you know for example like it got way more views than uh like call of duty and things like that i'm pretty sure so that's pretty cool i'm happy about fnaf for that one but what i think so basically i think each night you're going to have to save a different kid and each different kid is going to be gregory's friend so i think what's going to happen is each night you're the protect girl you know because it says protect and you're protecting the kids you're the protect girl and actually the glamrock animatronics are good guys and they're trying to help you they're happy friendly animatronics who love children and they have advanced enough ai to you know like not murder people because they don't have any dead kids stuffed in them because vanny hasn't killed anyone yet so what i think glitchtrap is saying vanny needs to kill five kids and stuff them in the suits uh i don't know what the fifth suit will be maybe it's moon man then maybe something like that i don't know so every night you have to protect gregory and his friends but i think the other four nights besides the nights you have gregory you're it, you're meant to fail vanny or maybe the moon man gets you some way or another and the kids end up dead the game is uh from like something that was leaked on some like german website or something random like that showed that the game will be rated 18 plus so it's going to be bloody it's going to be violent i don't think there's going to be cuss words and i don't think there's going to be nudity i think it's rated 18 plus just because of how violent and gory it's going to be because five nights of freddy's it isn't meant for kids so um Every night, you're going to protect them, and I think Glitchtrap actually can be possessing the animatronics. Say he can randomly possess Glamrock Freddy, and now Glamrock Freddy is evil, and he has, like, red eyes, and he tries to attack you. Maybe he possesses Glamrock Chica. Glamrock Chica is evil, and she tries to attack you. Sort of things like that. I think those things will just be very cool to see, very cool to, you know, just sort of... Like, you have to fend them off. Uh, one thing that I don't know about is the Moon Man. I, like, I'm pretty sure you have to run. Y you're gonna get tasks. Who knows? It could actually sort of be like Among Us. You have tasks and you have to run through the whole mall doing everything like that. I think that would be very cool. Just a very cool thing to sort of see, I guess. You know, do doing all your different tasks, running through them all. Uh, and you have to protect the kids while you're at it. I feel like the Moon Man will be an added difficulty. But Glitch Trap, I definitely don't think Glitch Trap will have the hugest role in this game. Since, you know, they didn't really make any merch of him. They clearly could have, but they didn't. So that's why I think he won't have too much merch. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's video. Uh, please subscribe. Like, seriously, I put so much effort into my videos for you guys. It's insane. It would just... It would just be amazing if you guys could subscribe. Yeah, don't forget to, uh, you know, like, comment, subscribe, and uh, hit that bell notification so you get notified for tomorrow's video. That one's also pretty cool. But uh, yeah, that's it for today's video, and I will see you all later. Goodbye!